The sky is falling. The sky is falling. You know, you watch the news or you look at some things on YouTube that's all of these things happening all over the world. That's how you start to feel. The sky is not falling. Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. And so that's God's loving way of giving everybody time to repent. Do, that means doing about face from everything you're doing that's unrighteous. Whether you want to hear it or not, that's exactly what it is. The Bible says to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll follow me. You will hear me and listen. Those are the true children of God. But there are some children of God that you don't know that you're children of God as well because you've just been sucked into a, a vortex of constant distractions, constant distractions. And they separate you from the knowledge of God. The Bible says they will perish for their lack of knowledge. So all of these distractions that I am no part of, I could care less. I don't give a darn what any celebrity is doing unless they are helping others come to know God and learn about God. I am not interested and you shouldn't be interested either. Why are you interested in what other people are doing? Be interested in your relationship with your creator and Jesus Christ and helping your family and your children. This is it, folks. This is not a joke. This is your life. You have no idea what's on the other side of the soil. You have no idea. I am obedient to my heavenly father. I, yes, I am obedient and I enjoy being obedient. And if you want to call me a Bible fanatic or she's so self-righteous, you can say whatever you want. Jesus said, my children will listen to me. Jesus said, those who follow me will be obedient and do what I'm saying to do. No one is perfect. This is not about perfection. Everyone falls short. Everyone. No one is spotless. But we try our best. We pray. We repent. We pray with our family. Every single day, more than one time in the day. It's not such a horrible thing. The reason you follow laws is because it's good for you. Don't you look before you cross the street? Don't you stop at a red light when you drive a car? Don't you brush your teeth so that they don't, they don't become brown and yellow and you don't have bad breath? You're actually following laws. Those laws protect you. They keep you safe. Don't you try to eat three healthy meals in the day if you're not on some sort of a binge? Don't you do those things? Yes, you do. Why? Because they're good for you. But for some reason, when God presents his laws to, to, to uh, dusty prone human beings that are simply going to return to dust, for some reason, when God pre pre presents those laws, it's such a problem. It's such a problem to follow the laws that God commands that are for our best interest. That's sad. That's really sad. Here it is. Our creator is saying, okay, yeah, I made you. I gave you life. Okay. Now this is how you have the best life. You see, this is how you have the best life. But what do we do? Do we listen or do we say, oh no, oh no, I know, oh, 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 you know, yeah, that's right. God doesn't want you doing certain things because it's not good for you. And I am so happy that we have a loving God. Everything God does is from an angle of love because he loves us, but he cannot reside with us if we are disobedient. That was the first separation between Adam and even God. That was the first separation. Disobedience. That's what did it. So clearly the opposite of it is obedience and that unites us. So I'm going to keep this one really short and 
You see all of these things happening in the world. I always, I want to leave you with this scripture about when they say, when the nations say peace, sudden destruction will be upon them. Clearly, I used to think about that scripture. Clearly, something would have to have been absolutely horrendous before the leaders would say peace. What would make them say peace? Obviously, something settled. Something has calmed down. Do you not see what's unfolding? Do you not see what's unfolding? Every person will see because God wants you to see. He doesn't want you to see from a human being. He is showing you signs. Start looking and seeing what's happening around the world. This is not a joke. Get out of the Snapchat, uh, whatever it's called, Snapchat. Get out of this stuff. Get out of Facebook. Get out of Twitter. Get out of this nonsense. Get out of it. Stop it with these video games that are full of violence. God does not like violence. If you have a, a like for violence, I'm very sorry, but you will, you will be a part of it. Since you like it so much, you're going to live it. You want to like it so much, you're going to live it in real life. Get out of these things and start appreciating and loving, being grateful for all of the blessings God gives. When you start to live that life, you are going to be blown away how wonderful it is to be with God, to understand his word and to really be appreciative. You know, God is love. There's no reason to, to think that God is such a, is it's impossible to be um, or to follow God's ways. It is not impossible. It's very possible. So I'm here to say that, and I hope that you all will listen so that we can all have the benefit of loving and knowing God. In Jesus' name, amen.